Alright guys, so I have a potential new easter egg for the, I guess, new-ish map at this time, uh, Tagged or Totem. Um, so pretty much the way I found this was, I was, you know, going through the pack punch, uh, trying to get, you know, set up for the map, and I noticed, uh, little statuettes for, uh, oh my god, uh, there was a little statuette for... Like, I guess different animals, like there was a centipede, or I, I think it was a centipede, a bird, a margua, and I can't, I can't, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but I noticed that there was uh, one at each of the pack punch locations as well as golden pack, and I kind of collected all of them, noticed that you know, you could collect as many of them as you could find, which I guess inherently was five total. Um, obviously, with it being Treyarch, you know, they're not going to add something like that without you know, a purpose. So what I did is kind of look through the map and look for stuff that was a little out of the ordinary. And I noticed that there was a, I guess, briefcase over there, and you could actually put all the little statuettes into the briefcase. And once I did that... It, it's kind of hard to describe, it, like, it sounded like it was a dog round, but there was only electric zombies that spawned, and it was actually quite a, quite a few electric zombies. Um, and so what happened, once you kill all of them, there is a free perk that, uh, is spawned right where the briefcase is. And when I first discovered this, I went on YouTube, obviously, and I was like, you know, just because with me experimenting and just finding it, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if, you know, this is a thing that's been noticed or, you know, completed before. I didn't happen to see anything. Now, that's not saying that, you know, it's not been, you know, just uploaded or it's absolutely a possibility I potentially missed it. And I'm not going to say that I found this, you know, first in the world, but I'm not seeing anything absolutely one of those cool little things that Treyarch, you know, is known for, you know, just small little, small little easter eggs that, you know, make the map and make the game, you know, just that much more enjoyable and adds a level of depth to it. And I'm going to show you where all the spawn places are for the, I guess, again, I'll, I'll just call them statuettes, just because I'm not 100% sure what they are. I'll get back as soon as we get to the first one, just because there's a little bit of work that obviously goes into getting these just because you got to turn on the power get to the facility golden pack a bunch but once we get to that i will come back and let you guys know what to look for as well as where to find them alright guys so this is the first little statuette in the og spawn room for call of the dead it looks like it's a little bird just you know simply holds square to pick it up and as soon as the second one spawns, I'll be right back to uh, to explain that one as well. Actually, a little side note to make it a little bit easier for you to keep track of which ones you've got. Don't go up to the facility until it uh, until Pack Lunch rotates between the OG spawn room, back of Lighthouse, in the sunken crevice area, and the spot over here. Uh, literally just thought about that just because trying to make this as time consuming time saving as possible yeah i probably said that wrong but all right so we're approaching the second statuette um it's right through here um in this room uh in order to get through the fire just simply shoot that and the uh, water that is in those pipes will extinguish it or you can go through the uh tnt area over there uh this is just a little bit quicker so this one looks like Actually, at first I thought it was a centipede without looking at it, but it looks like it's a apothecan from, uh, what map was that? Revelations. But, yeah, this is the second location, and I'll be back as soon as the back punch rotates to the third spot. Alright guys, so we're actually at the third one. It finally decided it wanted to, uh, rotate over. So, this one looks like to be a, a squirrel. So, same thing, hold square, or, I think it's X on the Xbox, I'm not too familiar, I'm a PlayStation guy, so. Alright, so it finally, uh, went over to the, ooh, that accuracy though. It, uh, finally went over to the boathouse, so this one is a 
guess that's a llama. Eh, yeah. But uh, this one's actually going to be on the right side, so same thing. Hold X to pick it up. Now we can go over to Facility to gain access to Golden Pack so we can pick up the Margra, and then we can pretty much almost get done with this small little Easter egg. Alright, so heading off to Golden Pack Punch. I guess when you at first activate it, it, uh, um, it like immediately comes active. So here's a little Margra, same thing on the right side of um, Golden Pack. And if anyone's wondering why I'm rocking both snipers, it's a nice little, uh, nice little challenge. Alright, so as soon as we get back from Golden Pack, I will show you guys where to place them and what to do in order to get that free perk. Alright, so once you've acquired all five of the little statuettes, you can head off over to the original Call of the Duty spawn. Call of... or Call of the Dead, I'm... <clears throat> I'm gonna try that one again. So, once you acquire all five of the statuettes, go ahead and return to the original Call of the Dead spawn. And off over here, you'll see a little briefcase. Go ahead and put them in. As you see, or as you heard, a few of them died. Well, Man, that actually might have been here to see that. because of, Jesus. yeah, the ice right there, like that guy. So... No. In my experience with doing this a couple times, it kind of will sound like a dog round. Kind of. Can't wait for this to be the one time that it actually doesn't work. A round or two. Yep. So, here's the dog round. And it should be all electric zombies. Yep. There they are. So, um. With this, they're actually, it seems to be a little bit stronger than normal. Um, if I could actually hit the target, that'd be really amazing, though. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and purchased all my, uh... Ooh, hopefully no one has, uh, seizures. That was very bright. But, um... I went ahead in the last round and purchased all of the, uh, perks. Just in case. Um, I've actually never done this without all four perks active. So didn't want anything random to happen I guess I should probably or I guess would probably be the better word um so pretty much yeah just go ahead and kill these zombies as fast as possible a little weird they actually do seem to be a lot stronger than the average round 14 zombies as you could tell I was one shotting those and these guys are a little more uh, resilient to bullets should be a perk that spawns yep right there so this is just one of those little things that Treyarch put in I got death perception Obviously, Treyarch is known for this, so once I realized you could pick up the statuettes, I was like, you know, there has to be something here. And uh, Obviously, as the Pack-a-Punch continued to move, I realized that there was more and more statuettes. I actually only thought there was four originally. I didn't realize that the marker was that golden Pack-a-Punch until maybe a couple days ago, and I was like, oh. And then one of the first things I noticed that was off you know, about I this map was like this. Dogs. No idea, you know why that was there so I put you know two and two together and was like oh shit you can actually put the little statuettes into the to the briefcase knowing Treyarch and playing their games for the last 10 years it's never what it seems there's always a little bit more so I uh, figured it out and again I actually tweeted about it but yeah definitely want to give a shout out to Oust who is going to be editing the video and Helping me put it up on YouTube as he's uh, a lot better with the whole editing stuff. I'm just the I'm just the guy that plays the game and actually a big accomplishment. I actually just got into the top 10,000 of worldwide rankings for this game. Really proud of that. Really do enjoy this game. I know there's a lot of hate towards it with it. You know them changing a lot of things, a lot of the maps. Well, actually, all the Ether maps being remakes again. I totally understand the hate, but I really do enjoy this game. But um, I, again, definitely a huge shout out to Oust for helping me put this up on YouTube. Again, knowing what Treyarch does with their Easter eggs and knowing that, um, hey, finally got that done. And knowing that it's you know, not, not always as it seems, there's always a little bit more kind of, you know, just did a little bit of looking around. This is actually one of my favorite maps of all time, so I've definitely, since this released a few, uh, actually probably about close to a month ago, I'm about to go down. Um... I've been playing this map like crazy, so... Uh, huge kudos to Treyarch for making, honestly, one of my favorite gaming 
modes in general. And, you know, definitely huge thanks to them for putting this all together and giving us games that, you know, we, we're able to, you know, play for so long and there's so many different levels to it. Like, it actually, uh, whenever I play this game, usually I go for uh, the Samantha Music Box and, excuse me, and, you know, try and get the Thunder Gun, obviously, you know, high rounds, but uh, it's so many different ways that you can play not only this game, this map, but, you know, there's just so many different ways that you can play zombies. And I definitely want to say thank you to Treyarch for, you know, providing that for the last 10 years. Um, I think I'm going to be start doing a little more frequent uh, uploading on YouTube, maybe like some live streams. I know with Modern Warfare launching, there's Spec Ops, no zombies, so... And I, th I think for Xbox, I don't know if they've changed it. There's like a whole year that you guys got to wait, so honestly, that's, that's some bullshit. But if you guys want to see like some more live streams definitely let me know and again a huge shout out to Alice for being able to take time out of his schedule to upload this and edit it I know there's a lot of rambling a lot of talking a lot of things that he has to cut out just you know waiting for the lighthouse but uh yeah definitely thank you to Treyarch and Alice again and I will see you guys in the next one peace out So in my game it went OG Call of the Dead Spawn, Sunken Path, uh, what is this area called, uh, the Lagoon, and so the next one will be in, I guess the back of the lighthouse towards the uh, boathouse. So as soon as it gets over there I'll be, uh, I'll be right there to show you.